Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how tutorial. In this video we're going to create uh, the leg connector that you see uh, for the Lego guy that we're making. So yeah, it's going to look something like this when we're done and uh, let's get started. Oops. Open up a brand new scene in Blender. I'm actually going to open this back up. Just pull it over here. And uh, let's go to the front view by hitting 1 on your numpad and I'm just going to go into e straight into edit mode. Uh, yeah, let's do that. And then let's just make this small and stretch it out. That looks like a pretty good... What we're wanting to do is create this section and if it helps, sometimes it's nice to pull up in like things off the internet and look at them and look at this. So we're trying to make that that section right there. So let's go ahead and probably make it a little bit thicker maybe somewhere in there uh... yeah and then let's go ahead and also add so shift a and let's do a cube as well and just position it right down uh... a little bit down here and let's turn go to modifier add modifier and subdivision surface uh... what we're going to do is with this section right here between his legs we're just going to use the cube to make that round shape. Uh, cubes just have better geometry a lot of times than cylinders sometimes, so it's just a little bit easier to work with, uh, at least for my style. And for this, we're just going to do that same thing right here. So let's begin by making this round by Control R, and then you can slide it to the position that you'd like. And then make sure not to forget these edges as well. Oops. Uh, if you get them too close to the edge, so you can see like this one and this one, maybe I want to pull this one a little bit uh, to the right, you hit Alt and click on the line and it'll select it. And then just double tap G and you can move them in. Uh, I'm also going to do that here as well. So maybe move that down, and move that down. Okay, then I'm going to go out of edit mode, right click and hit shade smooth. That'll give us a little bit better view of it and turn up the subdivision at least one more magnitude. Uh, now I'm also going to do this with this as well. But first off, we need to make this whoops, a little bit skinnier. Now you may think it's kind of hard to select things. You can go into wireframe and select it like this. Uh, just another way you can select things though is if you select one point of an object that is not being attached, so this object and this object are separate from each other, you can hit Control and L and it will select everything that is connected to that point. It's kind of a cool way of selecting things. I'm going to make it a little skinnier somewhere in there and then add our loop cuts. Something like that. And we're just going to want just those two because if we do more then we're going to get different shapes that we don't want. Uh, did I? Whoa. Yeah, sorry. Let's move this guy a little bit in. Okay, now that we have that, let's add one more part. Uh, actually, this, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. So I'm at the side view now. I'm going to control L again and just make it a little bit bigger that way and pull it down. Something like that actually. And then I'm going to just duplicate it. So shift D to duplicate and it will put on your mouse. And then right click, go into the side view uh, by hitting 3 on your numpad and just move it up. And then I'm going to scale it down this way using S and then the Z key to lock it to the axis. And I'm going to do the same thing uh, to move it. So you can hit G and Z. And I'm going to hit S and uh, Y to make it go something like this. Now you may be wondering, like, on a Lego character, you can't really see it there. Let me pull up in this. It's easier to see. This is flat right there. 
uh, and this isn't? Well, it's actually really easy because our circle did most of that for us. We just need a loop cut to make it go like that. And let's add one. Uh, it might be easier if I go into wireframe to see it and maybe change the view a little bit. Yeah, that's where I want it. And back out and you see it doesn't quite look right and that's okay. I think what we need to do is for this model, for mine at least, I need to pull... Uh, oh, that's what it is. So what we need to do is we need to select this entire plane out here. Uh, so for instance this part, and you can't really see it up there. I'm just going to click on the plane selection tool up here and click there and just hit E. And then right click and hit S and just scale it down just a little bit. That will make our edge a little bit crisper. I'm going to do that with the side as well. So right click and do that. Now if we go back into there, now we get a better looking result there that, sh that fades straight into it. It looks more seamless. I'm going to turn that up one more time. Uh, one more thing though is I think on a lateral character this flat part is going to be pushed to the back. So I'm going to go in here and uh, select one of these points and hit control L again and just move it to the back and stretch it out. Uh, just move it back here. Something like that. Uh, just to get it in the right spot. Actually, I think they don't. Let me see if we can get a... It's actually a good thing. Let's see what the Lego character back side looks like. Uh, this doesn't look like a Lego brand, but uh, yeah, so it doesn't look like they actually are flat on the back side. Um, they have that round, and then they go straight up again. So let's just... Uh, stick it in the middle and call that good then. Uh, go back into object mode and look at our final product. Uh, save this and we will see you next time to watch the rest of this Lego character creation. Uh, and until next time, we'll see ya. Bye.